what's up guys welcome back or to the channel and yes i know everybody is eagerly awaiting another off-roading video and i promise you i have one coming very soon but today i have something pretty special actually this is a product that i got sent to me recently and this is the vitamin or vitamin however you want to pronounce it i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that's how it should go so <laughs> It is a portable power station, but it is a lot more than that. It is basically like a four in one. And what this thing is, is a portable battery, as well as a solar generator. It is also a backup battery power for your house or for wherever you choose, maybe the cottage. And it is a portable jump starter. So you can actually use this to jump start your vehicles. So give me one second, cause it is a little bit loud down here. So it is basically like a four in one. And if you know this channel and if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I don't really promote any products or I don't really show you guys any products really on this channel because unless I believe in it, unless I'm gonna use it myself and unless I think it's something that's gonna be good quality and useful to you guys, I don't wanna just go out there and try to promote everything under the sun because they're gonna send me a free product. Trust me, they ask me to promote tons of crap all the time and I don't. <laughs> so this is actually an awesome product and I've been using it for the past like two weeks and it's amazing. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with it. And to be honest, I'm at the point where it's, it got hard to make this video because there's almost nothing you can't plug into it. And let me explain a little bit more. So like I was saying, this thing is basically like a four in one. It does so much because you can use it at home around the house in case you wanna use it in your garage. Uh, you can also use it on the job site at work you can use it for camping, overlanding, and in an emergency situation, like the jump starter there, or in case of a power outage at your house. Now, I'll give you guys a quick list of the specs really fast, and then we'll go and we'll plug in a whole bunch of different things because I'll show you guys, there's almost nothing you can't plug in here that it won't run, and it's very, very powerful. So right off the top of my head, it is 1500 watts, it is 1548 watt hours, and it does have a peak constant of 1500 watts but it will also uh let you go for a brief moment up to 3000 so it does have that little bit of overload in case something does want to draw a little bit more power for a brief moment it will uh, allow up to 3000 but constant of 1500 and it does have its own storage up here for all of its charging cables you get a cable to charge the actual unit you get another cable to charge the unit off of your cigarette lighter and you also get a couple of usb cables so i actually like that it has the storage there it's super handy you don't have to look for your cables you don't have to carry an extra thing of cables they're always in there and you can also charge this off of solar and this will accept up to a 400 watt solar panel which is pretty nuts usually they only accept up to 100 200 watts this one will do up to 400 watts and i'll show you guys the specs really quick here i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say i memorized everything but it is 1500 watts. It is a lithium polymer battery. You do have two Anderson inputs at 400 watt max, three AC outputs, three DC outputs. You have USB A's, you have three USB A's. You have a, uh, three US, uh, two USB C's. And you also get uh, on the front here, the cigarette lighter and the two DC plugs. The two DC plugs are basically, if you have anything that plugs in like a laptop or something like that, then you can get an adapter for that. But this right here is where you would plug in your jumper cables so that if you need to jump the vehicle, you can jump a vehicle. And it also has an additional battery uh, capacity. So what happens is you can purchase a secondary battery of the same capacity, 1,548 watt hour, and it'll sit next to it, attached to it, and now you doubled your power basically. But let's go over and quickly try a few different things because I'm actually super impressed and this thing's gonna be a game changer this year. You guys are gonna see this thing a lot on the channel. It's definitely gonna come camping. It's gonna be used a lot while I'm working on the vehicles and just overall, it's gonna get a lot of use. For example, say you're camping, you can go plug in a light. You've got your flashlight charging. You've got your speaker charging, so you've got your tunes, your GoPro batteries, your phone, everything is charging. And you can even go and make yourself a piece of toast. And yes, it is actually making the toast. 
I will let it go all the way through to prove it to you guys. And yeah, like you can do all of this and you're not even using half of its capacity. You're at 733. Like I'm telling you guys, you can honestly do so much with this. And this is just a small example. Sure, yeah, you can make a piece of toast, but I've got some bigger and heavier duty appliances that uh, you'd be impressed that this thing will run. And there you have it. Now, yes, I did put it on the lightest setting, but you can see like it hits toast. It's definitely like, yeah, it's toast. <laughs> so always bring a friend to help you film so that you can get things done a little quicker. It's toasted, Joe. And now we just plugged in the kettle. We're still only running 890. There's no toast in there, but if we wanted to, throw the toaster on and she's going. Like, it'll do it. 1637 solid. It's doing it. Not crying a bit. So like I said, this thing is a beast. It's 1500, but it'll let you go over a bit. So I don't actually have toast in there right now, so I'm not gonna keep burning my toaster, but we're gonna boil this water. There's the temperature gauge. And like, we still have everything else charging. Everything else is still plugged in. Where's the light? There's the light on that. This is still charging. Those are charging. This guy's going. So like, this is a powerhouse. This is basically like, having your house <laughs> wherever you go so i'm honestly super impressed with it so far uh i'll let this boil for you guys just to prove to you guys that it'll do it but i've got a couple more things to show you guys and then i have a kind of a fun little uh experiment we can do i think what we should do is run over to the store and look at all the different appliances in the store and look at the ratings and see if there's anything this thing will not be able to run because i'm telling you it'll run almost anything I still have a couple more things like I even brought a shop vac. That's a five and a half horsepower shop vac. We're going to plug that in in a minute and you guys are going to be blown away or sucked off. <laughs> Either way, you won't believe this one. Well, she's going. She's almost there. We're getting close. Like you can see it's definitely doing its job. And I've already checked at home. You can bring a Keurig. So say you're out on the trails. You want to have a Keurig in your Jeep. They're like 50, 60 bucks. Throw one in the Jeep. You've always got hot water. You've always got coffees, drinks, whatever you want. And she is pretty much right there. You can see water is rolling, boiling. And she just turned off because it's hot. It's pretty much at temperature. And now you can make yourself a nice hot drink. Like I'm telling you, and after all of this so far, we're only at 90%. We started at 98, but let's keep going. And so you're at the job site and you want to charge up all the Milwaukee's for the boys, a couple of headlights, anything you want, you're golden. You can charge up everything and with power to spare. Right now we're only using 75 watts, but that is because I'm not going to lie to you, this one and this one are charged, but 75 watts, even if we were charging all three of these at the same time, you know this thing can more than handle it. It's not gonna sweat it, it's not gonna skip a beat. So now let's plug in two heavy drawing appliances and then I think we'll go and see if there's anything that we can find that this thing will not be able to run. So for all the ladies out there or guys with longer hair, I can't say I really use one, but a uh, hair dryer. And this one does have three different speed settings and three different heat settings. So we're gonna go Oh, hold on. That's telling me I got to get out of here. So this is first heat setting, second heat setting, and final third heat setting. So number three and number three. And that's right. You can run this. You can easily take this. Let me turn it off so I can talk. You can easily take this camping. Your girlfriend can dry her hair. You can dry your hair. You can use this in the Jeep. You can use this to dry your animals. You can use this for many different things. And what I'm about to show you after the heat dish, this can actually be a great investment for you for your business. 
and yes, I'm talking to you, Milan, <laughs> and a few other guys who do detailing. I also used to do mobile detailing, but uh, this would be great for anybody that does any kind of mobile work or anything where you need a power source and you're mobile. You either have a trailer or a vehicle, you move around and you service different clients on the, on the move, and that's it. But uh, let's plug in the heater. So this is a heat dish, and you guys know these draw quite a bit, and we got it, so this is off. We'll go right up to the max, and you can see it's gonna start glowing there in a second. But this, also, you can run easily without a sweat. Probably even turn this on on the lowest heat. And you can run both of those. Like, I'm telling you guys, I've been super impressed. Yeah, it's already getting warm. Let me turn off the light. You can sort of see it starting to glow there. Takes a second. It's kind of basically a giant toaster with a dish behind it. But once she gets going, oh boy. And for guys like me who work in the monkey cave, <laughs> it would be great to have something like this. Or it is great now to have something like this. Because say I'm down here freezing my monkey balls off. I can turn this on and it's gonna help me out a ton. It's gonna not only let me work longer, it's gonna let me work more comfortably and your hands and your joints aren't gonna hurt as much because they're not gonna be frozen. So for anybody that works outside or in a garage or in a basement or in a cold space, now you can run a heater with you even if you don't have power. Say it's a shed or say it's a new build house, something you're still working on or even in case of an emergency. If you're out of power, you can run a heater. And you would actually be surprised at how many different appliances you can run in your house with this. You can run your fridge, you could run your modem, you could run your TV, uh, even in a power outage. 90% of the time, you still have internet, you just have to be able to power the modem, which is what's kind of hindering you from having internet. So this solves that problem. And it does work as a battery backup management system where basically you plug in your TV, your modem, your fridge, whatever you want, and plug this into the wall, and it'll use the wall power until there's no wall power, then it switches to the battery, and it's seamless enough that you probably won't even notice that you ran out of power. And that's the beauty of it. It's big enough that it has the power to run all that stuff for a longer period of time that you'll probably be able to survive until you get back to regular power. But you can see this thing's been running for a minute. She is nice and glowy, and there you have it. So now I really actually gotta go because I gotta pick up Justine and she's not gonna be happy, but give me the vacuum. So this is a 5.5 horsepower vacuum, shop vac. And if you guys are a mobile detailer or you're like me and you just clean your vehicles down here. Oh, one second, one second. What's going on here? You worked before. Oh no. It worked. I don't know why it's not, it's acting up right now. Oh, I turned the AC plug off. That was totally me guys. That, I'm, I'm not even gonna edit this out because I was being stupid, but. That cave to be clean. Monkey cave. The monkey cave. To and be I clean. promise you, this isn't a setup. This is just dirt that was here already from my Jeep. But uh, you can see, like, it's a vacuum. It works. And we're drawing in a safe wattage, 1050. So we're good. It's happy. We're happy. Look at that. But now I really gotta get out of here. But let's pack this up and let's head to a store. And let's pack this up, let's head to a store and let's see if there's anything this thing can't run because I'm thinking we're gonna not be able to find much. Like maybe one or two appliances, but yeah, like it's nuts. A stove. <laughs> All right, and we're here. We got lucky, we picked Justine up on time. And we actually didn't even get yelled at for taking half of the kitchen down to the parking lot, or to the garage. 
So now let's go in. It's raining. That's why I shot this from in here. But the reason I came to this store, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is like a kind of like a mix between a Home Depot and a Walmart. That's the best way to put it. I was going to go to Home Depot, but Home Depot doesn't have as much of a selection of actual appliances. And these guys are basically a hardware store as well as like a home goods store and a camping and outdoor store. So I actually come here to buy a lot of my oil and a lot of stuff for the vehicles and stuff like that. So yeah, fun fact. But let's go in there and let's check out exactly what we can find. And I know you guys are interested to see a microwave because that's one thing I did not plug in down there. So let's go see. And I know you can run one, but you just got to find one that's within the right wattage. So let's go see. All right. They are playing music in here, so I hope I don't get copywritten. But looking at it, I haven't found a single one. Maybe this big boy right here. But 900 watts. This guy's 1100 watts. Uh, if we keep moving down, what is this big guy? 1200, 1200 watts for the big boy. 1100, 1100. We've got 1200, 1200, 1100, 1100. Like you're anything you want to run, you can run this thing. Get yourself a hibachi grill. Get yourself a skittle. Uh, like honestly, anything you want to run, you can go buffet style if you want. Like just make deli sandwiches. Like you can go all out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But um, yeah, even fridges, like uh, I'm purchasing a Dometic from one of my buddies and those things don't run very, very much uh, like uh, wattage because they're made to be portable. But even a regular fridge, like a portable, like one of those putting put inside your garage type of fridge for some beers would be. All right, I'm not gonna lie guys. I pulled out a couple of these and I can't find anything on here except for 115 volts but it's not telling me how many amps it draws so i can't really calculate for you but uh like yeah 115 volts but i'm telling you it'll run it like there's nothing in here you can't run and out of all the air fryers i managed to find one that is rated at 1690 like that's the only one everything else is around 1400 or less so you can run pretty much almost any kind of cooking appliance that you would want. You can have your toaster oven. This is actually toaster oven air fryer. This I actually have at home, the exact same one, and it's pretty cool. You can actually like use it to do all kinds of crap, but we're not talking about this today. But you can run this. You can run a deep fryer, I'm pretty sure. What does the deep fryer run at? Let's see. Okay, almost. This is 1800 watts, but I'm sure if you get yourself a smaller one, like there's a, there's another version right there. Uh, but I don't think they have it in stock. Okay, so the air fryers you can do, but the deep fryers are the ones that are a little bit too much for it. So that's good to know. You can run pretty much anything except for a deep fryer, which is not that bad. <laughs> and last but not least, because I am also a coffee lover, you can run pretty much every single one of these guys. They all run at about 1000 to 1200 watts until you get into these things. Once you get into like these guys, this one specifically, I believe it said it runs 1600 watts. But if you know anything about espresso machines, that's not gonna be running 1600 watts for very long. And you saw that the battery let us kind of hang in there for a bit earlier. So I'm confident that you could brew yourself an espresso with a proper espresso machine if you felt like you really wanted to. <laughs> or if your power went out in your house, you can still have good coffee. But that's enough in here. Let's head back and let me give you guys the last few features and one of the most surprising features that I actually didn't believe at first, but it's true, is the incredible charging speed. Now this thing claims, or not claims, it does because I've tested it. It will charge up from zero to 100 in one hour. Yeah, I know that sounds insane, but it will do it. So with the AC input, you're getting 1500 watts. With your DC input, you're getting 12 volts at 10 amps. And with your solar input, you're getting 400 watts. So I have a cable here already plugged into the wall. And if we plug them in, we're at 85. You'll see it's turning itself on. The fan should kick in in a second. There's the fan, 
and you can see it's climbing and I've seen it go as high as 1650 or 1670 and there she is you can see they are not lying and I will unplug it right now just so that we don't have the fan going off but the recharge times on this thing are actually pretty impressive so I've got the manual here like I said I'm not gonna act like I remembered everything but wall outlet one hour car outlet 12 to 14 hours and 400 watt solar panel four to six hours and they actually do make a 400 watt solar panel so I'm gonna do my best to get some accessories and some different things to show you guys exactly what the flash speed 1500 is all about and that's what they that's why they call it flash speed 1500 is because it charges up so quick and you can see just from me plugging it in right there we're already at 87 and we were pretty much at 98% when we started. We got down to, I think, what was it, 85 or 84 a second ago. And you can see she charges up very, very quickly. And it does its job and it works great. I'm going to keep testing it. You guys will definitely see lots more of this thing on the channel. But yeah, if you guys want to pick one up, there is a discount code for you guys in the description. Just jump down there, take a look in the description. There's a link to their website. There's also a discount code. But like I said, I'm going to try to get some more accessories. I'm going to try to get something else to show you guys because it's a very good product and I'm super impressed so far. And one of the features I like most is it has a light built into it on the back. So that is the back of the unit. You can see there's the screen and we shall test it. So that's the lowest mode, medium. Oh, I clicked through high. So let's go low, medium, high strobe and SOS just in case and that's it but I'm actually super happy with the light if you're out camping or even working in the garage or in the shop that is a nice feature and it is a nice big light covers pretty much the entire back very very impressed but I think that's gonna wrap it up for today I'm gonna charge this guy up so I can go and use it and do different things for the Jeep. I think I need to clean the Jeep. I need to work on the Jeep. So I'm definitely going to be getting some use out of this thing this week. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing and jump down there. Hit that like button. Give this video a share. We're trying to grow the channel and I can only do that with your guys' help. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.